Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, June 17th. This is Gina McGuire. Currently we are expecting very warm temperatures well above normal to continue across the Great Basin at least through the early to mid portion of next week along with very low relative humidity in the single digits. These very low humidities will mainly occur across Nevada and parts of Utah. We will also see periods of gusty winds throughout the next week. However, the strongest winds look to be Thursday across Nevada and Friday across Idaho and Wyoming. We will also see very dry weather with no showers or thunderstorms, except maybe a few lingering storms today across Idaho. Fuels are still curing and will gradually dry out as we move through the next week due to the very hot temperatures and dry conditions. Over the last 7 to 30 days, we've continued to see precipitation across the region, pushing areas well above normal as far as precipitation totals, with the exception of parts of central and southwest Idaho and southern Nevada. Therefore, with this upcoming period of hot and dry weather, it will still take time before the fuels actually dry out. If we look at the current conditions, we have general southwest to westerly flow across the Great Basin with a strong area of high pressure over the Pacific, and this will keep our very hot temperatures and dry weather. Therefore, generally low fire potential is expected across the region, but we are starting to see areas of drying now across Nevada and into Idaho, and this will continue and spread further east through the week. If we look at how this relates to the short-term weather today, we are seeing again those single-digit relative humidities across much of Nevada and into parts of Utah, along with gusty winds today, generally between 25 and 30 miles per hour at times across Nevada and into parts of central Idaho, with gusts generally in the 20s further east. Now looking at expected conditions for Thursday and Friday, we'll see the same general weather pattern with southwest winds breezy at times, especially across Nevada on Thursday, and still very dry conditions. And you're starting to see now in the seven-day significant fire potential outlook, areas turn to yellow and brown, indicating the drying of the fuels, especially across Nevada and into southwest Idaho. Looking at the surface conditions, temperatures will remain 10 to 12 degrees above normal across the region, with the strongest winds on Thursday across Nevada, where gusts will exceed 30 miles per hour at times. Therefore, we may see local increases in fire potential if we see starts where fuels have already dried. Moving into Friday, we'll see a weak system move across the northern tier of the country, and this will bring some cooling to parts of Idaho. However, still temperatures will remain about the same, well above normal over Nevada and Utah. Again, these temperatures drop about 8 to 10 degrees over parts of Idaho as we move into Friday. Still gusty winds remain with the strongest winds on Friday over parts of Idaho. As we move through this weekend into early next week, we're seeing very little change to the overall pattern, with high pressure dominating in the south, keeping very warm temperatures and dry conditions across the Great Basin. The only change we're starting to see this weekend into next week is now more drying of the fuels across the Great Basin, so we'll see more areas transitioning from green to yellow as we move through early next week and the dry weather continues. Now looking at current fuel conditions across the Great Basin, ERCs are still below the 50th percentile in all areas, however have been rising to the recent warm and dry weather, and these hot temperatures and very dry conditions will continue through next week, therefore we'll likely see a more dramatic increase in ERCs as we move through the weekend and early next week. Looking at live fuel moisture values, the last sample showed that sagebrush really across the area was near to above normal in fuel moisture, and this is due to all the moisture we've received, however again, as conditions dry out over the next week to 10 days, we'll likely see the live fuel moistures respond as well. In the higher elevations, we're still seeing the very low fuel moistures in some areas of pinyon juniper and the timber in areas that haven't received as much moisture. Looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, still looking at above normal temperatures and generally maybe near or possibly below normal precipitation, especially over the northern half of the Great Basin, and maybe an increase in precipitation as we get into the early part of July over parts of southeast Utah. That concludes this briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at the emails on the screen, or you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you for listening.